what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so august 2nd came and went i know a lot of us were disappointed not necessarily disappointed but maybe just sad that we we didn't get that teaser that a lot of us were hoping for but we did get something or start to get some things uh shout out to hello sydney because this is the uh, original source for the information we'll be talking about today hello sydney has been doing a conversation with the team of radio silence matt benelli open tyler gillette and chad Villella. they all sat down recently and were discussing the legacy of scream screen five in general the difficult task that comes along with making the first official trailer and some of the challenges that go with that or the first teaser talking about some of the unique risk that the film will take or that it will take unique risk going over the official rating that it will get so on and so forth so just to start off again shout out to hello sydney and i'll leave a link down to the down in the description so you guys can look at this video or read this article but tyler gillette started off speaking about the legacy he said with all the screen movies legacy is very front and center and they all built so successfully on one another while also being totally original on their own right and that was something that from the start we knew was going to be essential in this work and that was a love letter to all the movies and of course to Wes but also was going to take some of its own unique risks now just to talk about some of those potential risks they could be taking some of the things that have been juggled around in fans head and my head alike the thought of killing off one of the main three a big emotional blow to an already established continuity but again would also help set the stage for the future down the road by showing you that they are willing to take some risk and what better risk to take than killing off one of the main three as long as it's not sydney prescott of course for a lot of us i think we all can agree on that <laughs> as long as it's not sydney prescott uh some other risk they could take or they could be referring to is the fact that this would be the first screen movie if this is in fact what we end up getting this could this is the first screen movie that isn't going to be fully just centered on what's happening in the life of sydney prescott it's no longer just sydney prescott story it's going to be sydney prescott tara carpenter and sam carpenter out all now getting their story intertwined with each other revolving this new ghost face killer and presumably this will have a lot more to do with the carpenters this time around than the prescott and the roberts dynamic so that could be another risk that they're referring to they also went on to say that they want to make a good standalone movie and they wanted to just merge that with the legacy and just create a fresh start so they said that a lot of it came from the script where the entry point is accessible to everybody this isn't a movie that you need to have seen 27 other movies to understand but your experience experience will be extremely heightened the more knowledge you have of those previous four and then he went on to promise that there were a ton of easter eggs so the, the my thing about that comment there the just the last bit your experience will be extremely heightened the more knowledge you have of those previous four so they're going to do their best to just try to paint off a fresh start while keeping the original movies canon but still there's going to be some things that happen in this storyline that could probably benefit you a lot more if you have seen the already established films but it's not necessary to see them because they're probably going to fill it in with a lot of exposition based dialogue for those of you who have not seen the first four films or won't go see the first four films you'll just sit down and watch screen five so it's basically saying it won't be heavily reliant on you needing to go watch the first four movies me personally just like they said i would still go watch them so they also go on to say that the screen five will continue another another tradition that all the screen films have had the self-aware commentary and talking about the current state of horror now this one is a little bit opposite i guess to the mixed response that we thought we were going to have regarding the scream five film before where it was going to be less on the social commentary or just giving the less on poking and making comments on the current state of horror so it's nice to know that they will be keeping up that tradition anyway so the self-referential and making comments on the current state of horror that could be talking about how horror is now just not under this one path of just like slashers and that's just it horror is now slashers you're getting a lot more of the psychological stuff not that the psychological stuff didn't exist back then but back in like the late 70s 80s 90s we know that it was dominated by three big slashers michael jason freddie 
but now these days you're getting slashers mixed in with all the psychological mixed in with the supernatural and again supernatural and psychological they were a thing back in the day with with other movies like um rosemary's baby and all of these other things but that were just in that realm of supernatural and psychological like the blob for instance but the big dominators were the slasher films so now these days you have just horror getting a lot more mainstream recognition and all of these different subgenres are being more appreciated and it's not just slasher 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 you're getting so many different types of different horror movies to to experience so their whole social commentary could be on that it could be on also how all of the that could also lend to maybe why ghostface could potentially ditch his buck knife at some point during the film just throwing that out there uh, we, it could also be them making comments on how a lot of the movies now are retconning their already established continuity and them just being self-aware of the fact that they're not doing that. So maybe throwing some jabs, playful jabs, that being at the Halloween franchise and many other series that have been doing that recently. They also went on to talk about the challenge of creating their trailer. They said that's going to be the challenge with the trailer. There's a lot in this movie that can be spoiled really easily. We're so curious to see how the marketing department is going to thread the needle because it's a very narrow one. And that's what Galette had to say. So I already said what I sh should think should happen in a first of, in a first like teaser. It should be something light. It should be nothing but headshots of the new characters in the film mixed in with the old characters showing us like something very dark and gloomy and just something that will set the tone for what we can expect in the film. And then all the while you have Roger L. Jackson giving a voiceover back as Ghostface to announce that he's coming back to haunt the town of Woodsboro. Just have Ghostface basically giving a commentary over this teaser or you could just do headshots, have have little wording come up on the screen talking about how Scream redefined the genre in the late 90s, so on and so forth. And now the franchise that did that is back. They also went on to make comments about the fact that the film will indeed receive a hard R rating. Uh, that was confirmed by Chad Villela. Now, that, of course, hasn't been officially given by the MPAA, but they're they're saying that their movie will get a hard R rating. Not a hard R, I'm just saying hard R, but it will be rated R. So for anyone who was doubting that, they're confident that their movie will get a rated R rating. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. I'll leave a link to the video down in the description for Hello Sydney. Again, shout out to you for collecting this information. They have other exciting things coming out soon this week. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss the video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me see any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Without any mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.